In this lesson, we'll start to dive into the Hadoop technologies and how they work under the covers. The first of those is HDFS, the Hadoop Distributed File System. Basically, HDFS is an MPP system used to distribute data redundantly across many nodes and servers. And when we say redundantly, what HDFS does is it will load files, but it will take the same file and upload it to multiple servers. The default is three, but you can set it lower or higher depending on your needs. So while a Hadoop cluster based on commodity PC hardware probably doesn't have RAID technology built into each server, it achieves the redundancy and availability of each file by distributing it to more than one server. So when a client uploads some data or some files to an HDFS system, it will communicate with the name node to send that data into the cluster. The name node will then distribute that data to one or more of the data nodes within the cluster, and how many nodes it gets distributed to is a system configuration parameter. As files are loaded into the HDFS system, they're replicated to different nodes. The name node keeps track of where they are, and the name node will know which nodes have a copy of which files. So in this example, data node 1 has file 1 through 10. But notice that data node 1 has file 1, so does data node 2 and 3. For file number 8, data node 1 has a copy, and so does data node 3 and data node 4. So by distributing the files around to three nodes or maybe five nodes, depending on configuration, we can get a level of redundancy and reliability in those files. So if data node 3, for example, goes down, we still have two other copies of every file that it was hosting somewhere else in the system. So that helps with reliability. And as we'll see later, it also helps with distributing processing.